don't know if I'm the only person who does this, but I like categorizing problems with Godzilla movies that the community has. Like diseases. I don't know why I do this. I just do. But anyway, today is going to be fun because we're dealing with an actual parasite today. One that embeds itself in the movie and creates an unbalance in the way it's utilized. A disease I like to call Muto Syndrome. Allow me to elaborate. Godzilla 2014 is a Godzilla movie that I overall feel kind of mixed about. On one hand, the special effects are amazing, it has an old-fashioned feeling to it that I very much enjoy, and the Godzilla is leagues above anything that TriStar could have cooked up. But on the other hand, the characters are dull, the music is average, and it felt extremely unbalanced. And that is due, thanks to the Muto Syndrome. Now, where does the Muto Syndrome begin to embed itself in the movie? And subsequently, where it gets its name? Well, from one monster in the movie that rhymes with a certain planet that is no longer a planet. Somebody has to be the favorite, the one that everybody wants to see. Muto! Somebody has to be better than the rest, somebody has to be so good that they're the best. Somebody has to be the favorite, somebody has to be me. Okay, so I don't want to be beating a dead horse, or as all the cool kids say, Taste a dead rat. Because people complaining about Godzilla screen time is basically as old as Godzilla 2014 itself. So, pretty darn old. At this point, I consider Godzilla not having enough screen time, much like criticisms on how monsters getting weirder is a bad thing, as officially the white noise when it comes to Godzilla film criticism. Is what I would say if Godzilla 2014 actually has a true problem with the screen time. Which it does. So I'm gonna talk about it. Basically, the problem is that the Mutos derail Godzilla 2014 into their movie, with Godzilla as a side character. Now, this isn't the first time this has happened in the series, as seen in Godzilla vs. Megalon, where it was originally supposed to be a Jet Jaguar movie, but Godzilla was added in the last minute for the money. However, Godzilla 2014 was, to my knowledge, always conceived to be a Godzilla movie. So this derailment of turning Godzilla 2014 into Muto's 2014 is kind of jarring looking back at it now. And this doesn't just affect the screen time, but also the characterization of this Godzilla. A lot of people say that he's an aged and olden warrior due to him yawning after he pimp smacks the Muto with his tail. But I don't know about you, I don't think that Godzilla yawning is exactly a good amount of character development. Also, any other forms of character development that could have been done on screen couldn't have happened because the Mutos were always in the way. Well-written, well-developed Godzilla, my ass! Also, not to mention that any time Godzilla is brought up at all in the movie, he has to be interrupted with... Sometimes you have to blow your whistle... What whistle? To let the other monsters know you're near... Sometimes you have to make... Anti, what are you doing here? Apparently, Muto wanted me here to rub my face in something. I think this is that something. The favorite, say hello, the favorite is here... It's very clear to me that the future of the MonsterVerse is gonna be that it's gonna be a very monster character-centric universe. Evident with all the interviews by Adam Winningard stating that Godzilla vs. Kong is gonna be a quote-unquote monster bash. And with a criminally underdeveloped Godzilla, King of the Monsters really has to pack itself with more elaborated character development for Godzilla if Godzilla vs. Kong has any chance of being good. Now, there are ways to fix this, but that'll be safe for another video. But right now, we're gonna have to end it here. So, what did you guys think of Muto Syndrome and Godzilla 2014 as a whole? Do you think it's good, trash, or somewhere in between? Either way, this is Gigan telling you guys to not interrupt your friends' videos and remember to wash. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean interrupt your friends' videos? Are you saying that that was a bad thing? Well, yeah, you interrupted his pacing. Well, I was helping. How? Muto syndrome is described as when something derails the movie into their own thing, right? Yeah, point being. And what was I doing? Derailing the video onto its own thing. Oh, sorry, Muto. Probably should have cleared that up with me before you starting the video. It's fine. So in the end, the real moral is to always clear things up with your friends before you do them. And on that bombshell, it is time to end. And remember to wash your hands. Wait, why are you doing the end card? Guy again. It's because one main reason. That being... <gasps> Somebody has to be the favorite That's just the way it is, he must agree Some get to see the world and travel far away While other monsters have a place, they always have to stay Somebody has to be the favorite 
Somebody has to be 